matter of months. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm here with definitely one of my favorite actresses, Miss Angela Bassett, and, and you're in the Green Lantern. And my first question is, you know, blacks, we don't seem to, to be in a lot of comic book stories. <laughs> and, and we're starting to see a progression of, of characters like Idris and Thor and, uh, and you playing Dr. Uh, Wilder and Green uh -huh. Lantern. Do you think that this is mm. a sign of the times mm. of, in us growing? And even Michael Clark Duncan is, is voicing this. Do so you think right, it's a right, sign right. of, like, just right. us, us progressing as a society where we see seeing these characters. Well, I hope so, saying that we can be in a, in a made-up comical world, you know? Yeah. Yeah, with, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not reality, you know, so, yeah. you know, anyone can be, anyone and everyone can be a part, a part of this, right, a part right. of this world, so. And speaking of reality, I mean, you're, you're a doctor, this secret lab that's, that's dealing with these aliens and you know we got area 51 or 54 here i know i was flying over something coming from back east the other day and saw something i said i know i'm not right over that but it certainly <laughs> looks like something secretive going down to these panels flat mm -hmm. on the ground it looked like something you can open up so I, it it put me in the mind of that do you think it's some aliens hiding somewhere in, in in I'm a, a scary person. Area. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I scare easily. I hope not. Well, also, I like real people. You know, that's enough for me to try to figure out and deal with. Is that what I think it is? An alien life form, Doctor. The first that mankind has ever encountered, despite what the conspiracy theorist would have you believe. We want you to do the initial assessment of its physiology. Why me? As a xenobiologist, your skills are specifically suited to the task. Beyond that, I'm not at liberty to tell you. How do you feel about being adorned by this new generation of fans that, you know, like the Green Lantern or comic books is going to have a younger audience? How do you feel about oh, just, just being wonderful. adored by them now? I would know? love that. I would love that. Yeah. I would yeah, love true. to expand, you know, expand your audience and you know, as for, for an actor, you know, you always want to, you know, challenge yourself and do things that are a little different, you know, instead of, you know, getting stuck in, you know, one little sort of niche, whatever. So I, I like that. And I always wanted to, you know, you know, add the, you know, physical element in as well. Yeah, because it's physical. We see mm -hmm. you sliding across the floor in this mm -hmm. film. I was like, not my Angela. <laughs> but, Get up and run. Save yourself. <laughs> Save yourself. Yeah. So, like, your, your character like uh, kind of defends the government policy of having these secret stuff and keeping stuff from the public. Do you, do you think in reality, like you know, there are some secrets that the government has to keep from mm. from us? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. You can't tell every. You know, just in order to get some things done. Yeah. yeah. Well. Some things done. Some things accomplished. Well. You know, the good. Hopefully, the good for the good. Mm -hmm. You know, not. Yeah, I hope to see a lot more of you. I hope that there's a continuation of this Green Lantern uh, franchise so we can see more of your character. Thank you. And thank you for your time and I good luck with everything. It. Thank you so much, Jamal.